Hi guys, welcome to the video number 360. Very good evening to all of you. In this video, we are going to actually discuss about the Access VBA and I'm going to tell you that how using the Access VBA, you can refer to the different different databases, right? It could be any database, database A, database B, database C or whatever, right? So if you're watching the channel for the first time, very warm welcome to all of you and uh, I want to tell you that we have amazing you know 360 videos on access access VBA Excel and Excel VBA what you need to do is you just need to click on my on, you know when you go to the channel when you when you subscribe to the channel click on the playlist and you would see here different categories 43 playlist which we have created on the Excel Excel VBA and access and access VBA as you can see here so today uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, you know make a code in the access itself and uh, then we will be we'll be learning that how to define basically the uh, access databases using the access VPA right so I have created two databases here one is database one one is database two so let let us say that uh, I just open this database one now uh, in this so if you know the access you know this video actually will not make any sense to you if you don't have any idea about the access then perhaps you can go back and check out the playlist like access or you know the tables access queries which i have created on my channel and then you would understand what exactly it is all about right so this video is for those who know the access who know the front end of the access right now this is the access database and uh, in order to make the code i just go to the database tools and i click on the visual basic and here i'm going to create the insert module right so in this uh, i'm going to create two codes for you right one is it will refer to the database one and the second one is going to be the database two how to do that right so first of all we're going to make the code so i'm going to write here the code sub and get the access the names get the access actually names this is what the code is going to this is how the code is going to look like right so the very first thing we want to do is uh we want to create uh, an object which will uh, you know uh, see that that object actually we're going to refer it to the access application so we're going to write here my access any variable you can choose and you're going to write here access you know application right now guys this works the same way as you know you write there in the excel also if, if you're using the excel vb you write there dim and any object as excel dot application right so you here by default because you're working on the access you will get to see this access application right now what is the next thing you want to do well the next thing i want to do is that set my access equals to new application new access dot application and then what you will have to do is using this uh, my access new application you will have to open your the database any database you can open it for example if i just want to refer to the database which is my this the existing database database one then what you need to do is uh, then you can simply you know write here for example i can write here that then uh, my current or you can write here database um, my db let's say my db1 as then you can define it as a you know the database so i can use the do do library uh, this is called the direct access object library database access ob object library and you're going to define it as a database right so this again comes by default you don't have to own anything if you go to the tools in the reference you would see here that I have this microsoft office access database engine object application on right so you DAO is a library which actually directly comes with the access database. You don't have to specifically activate it. Now, what is the next thing I would do? I would simply declare here my DB1 equals to current DB. Now, when you do that, and if you let's say you put the message box here and, and then you write here DB1, what is the name of my that access database? You can see that if I just run this application, if I just run this code, then what will happen? You get to see message box and it says that this is your in the d drive database one dot acctb acctb access database is the extension so you get to see here you know the current access database right? so these are the very important points you know when, when you make the vba code you always try to uh, you know run the uh, one database from the another database so you should know that what you're actually doing now if you want to refer to the current database then you may not require these are you know the two standard lines you can just comment it out right for example if i just run the code and i just skip these lines you know i just my this cursor over here and i'm gonna run this just a second give me a second and i'm gonna run it you see the code will work right now what if you want to actually work with the database one database two maybe which is same drive then in that case what you can do uh, now this my access using this my access you can actually get it open so what we can do this application which you have created 
using this, uh, you know, my access application, I can actually get that open. So you're going to use the access current database and then you're going to open it. What is the name of that database? So you're going to pop you know provide the database name which is d drive database okay and the extension is acc db let me just check that again uh, because um, i'm not sure whether i have in the correct path so that's my database too and uh, i think it's perfect database too okay. it is coming okay so um once this database gets opened, then what you will do, um, so here, as you have defined the my database one, you can simply copy this line and you can also define the database two. So I'm just gonna use the comma word. I can write, I can define my database in single line as well. If just in case if you do not know, you don't have to use the table word again. Otherwise you can press enter and you know, you can write multi. So this is again going to be the database, but this time I define it as a DB2, okay? Uh, so what happens uh, if I just uh, you know write this line over here for example look at this I define my set word here and I say that my database uh, 2 is going to be equal to the current DB okay and now the when the message box comes so let me just copy this message box and paste this here and this time we need the second database so this is what I have created right now Let's run the code and let us see what we're gonna get here. So guys, I'm gonna run this. There we go. There we go. Everything is defined now. Let's have this. So it says uh, database one, which is correct. If I run this, you would see that it again refers to the same database. Right. So what is the problem? The problem is you haven't defined the set word in the correct way. I mean, it is actually correct, but it's not in the correct order, right? It should not have been here. It should have been after opening the this database actually. Right? So I'm gonna cut this line and I'm gonna paste it here. Once your actually access gets open, which is database two, then you're gonna use this line. So what will happen the next time when you use the message box? For example, if I just cut this line and I'm gonna, you know, put it here, or maybe you can put it everything here. It's not that once the, you know, access is open, then only you should, you know, retrieve the message. You can retrieve the message anywhere now see that uh, so both these lines what they, they mean is that you are referring to the current database that's fine and you are first getting that another database open using the my access application and then you're defining it so both the messages now should work in the correct order i'm gonna run this so let's see how it is going to work so there we go and now it should open the database too let me see if it is going to open it or not now i don't see it okay so I'm gonna run this again. Still, I'm gonna run this. This is the database one, which makes sense, and this is the database one again, which doesn't make any sense, right? So, what is the problem actually? So, uh, now what you need to do is, um, to act because you see, when I ran the code, there was no problem coming actually. There was no error showing up. So, ideally, it should have actually opened this database two also. Okay. So what we will do this time? I'm going to simply add one line here. Okay, which is uh, when the access actually application gets opened, okay, uh, we're gonna get that application also visible. So I'm gonna write here my access dot visible equals to true. Okay, let me run the code again here again. There we go. There we go. Now you see that is a actually if I just minimize this, there is a you know access platform. There's a layout. There's an Excel executable file you know this basically is the the blank access which is open and from this I can get my actually you know this database open I can get it open let me see I'm gonna run this here we go now it is open let me see that you can see that it's open guys very nice right you have it open now the next time so now once it is open we're gonna say this is my going to be the current DB Right, and we have the message box database one and then database one so again it has some problem right so what is the problem basically so um what, what i will do is uh, i will simply uh, run this again and let me run this now here we go here we go here we go we got the database one and we got the database one so it again has a problem so now we need to actually identify that why is it is not able to give us the you know correct database so basically the point is that when you write the current db actually it 
now refers to the current database which is obviously going to be the database one so guys this basically uh, the database which you're getting open this actually you're able to open using this my access application now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly write here my access dot you know the current db now look at the magic when i'm gonna run this now the points which i'm telling you you know these are the very basic things they if you do not know these points you uh, will face a lot of lot of problem in your VBA code. So you may be able to make the code using the Google or any YouTube, you know, the videos you, you watch like, you know, but the point is uh, ultimately again, after writing the code as well, you will not end up knowing that what exactly went wrong. So now I'm gonna run this code again. Look at this, I'm gonna run this. We go i have everything so this is going to open the database so i have database one message box and if i run this there we go wow beautiful so now actually you have got this that is two right now the moment you know the macro runs look at this i have this macro this access open the moment i run this happens actually that access you know access database gets closed because it actually get open from this access so the moment the macro runs that you know uh the access database disappears right so in order to show that database what you need to do is you have to declare that you know this access application as a actually public you know the object so what you will do you will just cut this line and you're going to put it here on the top now what will happen this is now going to be treated as a public object as a public access application right so when when you run this the next time what will happen the access will still be there so if i just run this line again and um, I'm gonna run this. There we go. Now you see that I got the message box, and uh, this is another message box. I enter. You see that the access is still opened. You still have database one, and you still have this you know, another database, which is database two. Okay. So this is how, guys. Uh, so basically, you declare your variable on the. Top. If you don't know about the local variables, public variables, and the global variables. Please go ahead and check out the Excel VB introduction series life of a variable. You would get to know about access, uh, not about the access, but I mean the variables which we use in the access VB and the Excel VB both. Uh, the concept remains the same. The variable chapter is remains the same whether you're learning the Excel VB programming or the Excel VB programming, right? So by declaring it on the top, I'm just, I have actually changed the scope of that variable. I have changed the look variable nature of that my access object variable which was a local change it to a you know the public so it will actually be created it can be accessed from any module it's not a local variable so it will not actually disappear when the macro stops it will remain there and it will show up here this is how guys uh, you can actually uh, uh, you know this code so that's it for now guys uh, thank you so much for watching and i will be back very soon with some another exciting stuff thank you so much